everyone. Here is Matthias and Matthias. Yeah. <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> Fine, thanks. Okay, cool. Yeah, so let's start. The, the summer is almost gone and uh, fall or autumn is coming. So this is a good yeah, a good entry to our topic today. Um so perform better with seasonality is the topic today. And we want to show you some things um, how to improve better or perform better with seasonality. And as an example, you can see here the natural gas chart. And natural gas is facing to a very, very important support level here around 275 for the current futures contract. And now you can think maybe it's a good idea to go short. But is it really good to go just short without any other signals, Matthias? Most of the time, not. <laughs> <laughs> short and correct. <laughs> of course, it's always better to have more signals than just one. And yeah, one of this could be seasonality. But now maybe one of you or some of you are asking yourself, is seasonality good for me or not? And this depends on the time horizon you're trading. So if you are a day trader, then maybe it's not that good to yeah, consider seasonality. But if you are trading weeks and months, then it's good to have an eye on or at the seasonality. Would you confirm that, Matthias? Yeah, I would definitely confirm that. The longer your trade horizon is, the better is the seasonality in this case. Okay. And but of course it, it's not working for all the markets. So for example, the stock markets is not that good and the interest rates, indices and the currencies are not that good with seasonality. And do you have maybe a small explanation why is it not so good seasonality regarding indices, for example? Yeah, because there we I mean there there is uh, a long bias anyways existing because on the long term uh, how can I how can I explain it um, so the long term direction of indices is is, is yeah anyways long yeah. I mean there is a seasonality we all know it it's the year end rally mm -hmm. I and mean, this is one exception um, yeah the, um, uh, I think I lost uh, the sentence I wanted to say. <laughs> no worries, no worries. I think uh, another explanation or kind of explanation could be that maybe commodities um, have a very, very clear uh, season for harvest and a season for putting the seeds into the earth. So maybe this <laughs> explains it a little bit childish, but I think you know what I mean. Um, and sorry for delayed showing the chart. Um, I was yeah I I was almost forgetting to to showing the chart so you can see now the natural gas chart and the support level at 275 and what we mean with seasonality is the following so let me switch this to english that you all can read this and now futures energy and then the natural gas and what you can see here is the average yeah development of natural gas during the last 17 years and this chart is pretty simple to read if you have a look here at october now we are at mid or close to end of october and this is a top or a peak in this chart here and this means it is most likely that we will see a decrease in prices until the end of November, beginning of December, then a little rally to the upside and then more to the downside until the yeah, mid of February here, I would say. So this is a pretty good spot to go short natural gas regarding the seasonality, isn't it? For me it is. I mean, we went short today mm -hmm. on our trading account. Um, in the in yeah in the premium trading account we, we went short with options yeah cool um, of course one point is seasonality but of course there are some other indicators we are using which gave us a signal to go short and that's why we sold the uh, calls today mm -hmm. cool and we are still in profit I think 
Yeah. <laughs> we are. That's, uh, That's the right plan. Now, I mean, natural gas coming back a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that this, this trade is going to end um, in profit. Yeah, because... I'm not sure. I mean, you can't be sure. Yeah, of course, there's no guarantee, but our strike is far, far away. So I think you you selected 370 or something like that. So yeah. we have a lot of potential to the upside and it doesn't hurt us. Um, and which duration, which, which expiration do you choose? Uh, Just around. So is it de is December, so... 60 days left or? Uh, 39 days left. 30, yeah. I think this is our dinner. <laughs> not not today, but maybe Christmas. We will see us. And yeah, so do you want to, to mention something else about seasonality? So maybe a little tip for our users? A little tip for our users? Yeah. What could be the best tip I can give? Um, Regarding maybe... seasonality, of course. <laughs> okay, I thought you... you okay, just let's stick to the topic um yeah <laughs> the longer your time horizon is uh, the better you can use seasonality i would prefer using it yeah. in uh, in grains and stuff like that not in forex markets mm -hmm. and pieces except uh, year end rally okay. and i mean this isn't a tip this is my preferred trading i would i really like trading this things with options because there is no pressure that the seasonality starts at the point mm. it should normally start like statistically yeah so yeah great last words so uh, good conclusion about this topic and if you want to learn more about this then check out learntradingmo.com um, pretty soon we will have a course about seasonality and yeah so that's it for today see you tomorrow guys have a nice one Bye. Bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs>